I went to Warsaw on vacation a couple of weeks ago and made this little travel video. And I want to talk about how I graded this, this little film. Because I wanted to try the Tangent Element VS, this app in your iPad that serves as a color grading control. So once you set up the software and the iPad and the MacBook, you can control basically almost anything inside of this iPad app, which is pretty cool. I don't own any color grading panels, so this little app is actually very useful in some cases. So in this travel video, I had all of these clips and I wanted them to match. And instead of going through all of these maybe 200 clips and doing this with my mouse, I opted for using this app on my iPad. So first off, you have your trackballs and the rings, and it works like any other control panel out there. So you get your lift and gamma and gain. So if I turn these rings, we can just get our image going here. If you press this one, you will reset the trackball. If you press this one, you will reset the ring, which is in this case lift. If I were to reset gamma or reset gain. And then we have the trackballs and here we can precisely just change our colors. So as you can see, since the iPad is multi-touch, you can control a lot of values at the same time here. Down here is your playback control and also here you can jump forward or backwards to your next or previous clip. And I gotta say it's really nice to be able to control two things at the same time with your hands because it's a, a multi-touch surface. Let's have a look at the other page here. This trackball doesn't seem to be doing anything but the ring here will actually control the playback. So you can scroll around the timeline with this jog wheel. And here we get some buttons. In this menu, you can see what these buttons are doing right now. If I press this one, I will trigger undo. The button below that, I will make a redo. And also you have two pages you can switch between. Right now we're at menu A, but if I press this B button, we get to the menu B page. And here we get a lot more functions we can play with. Basically, when I went through and graded all of these travel footage, it was really nice to use this app because you can really zone into the color grading by using this app and not touching the keyboard and mouse at all. If you're also using a computer a lot, it's nice to get your mouse arm a rest and use another controller input like this. The next page, well, that's also a tip here. You don't have to press these buttons to go to your page. You can just grab the free space here and swipe the way you want to go. So this page seems to be off right now because this one is connected to the BT page. Because if I go in here and let's say I want to adjust something in primary adjustments. So I press that one. Now let's see what happens to the next page. Yeah. So now we got some values here we can change because I went into this menu. So for example, I can take my color boost and start getting more saturation into my image and I can play with temperature. If you look closely, if I grab this dial and move my finger outwards, you get a lot more precision if you twist the, the dial out on the edge like this. And also if you double tap these dials, you will reset the value. Double tap, reset. Here's another thing I've discovered. If you press the A button here, you'll start to scroll between different pages here. Okay, so once you get into one page here, you can scroll between all of those pages. The only drawback I see with this T Tangent Element VS app, there's a lot of function that you can get to, but it's, it's really a little bit um, disorienting. So it's a little bit of a guessing game sometimes. You need to go in and check what, what page you're on. We have a lot of pages to, to memorize. Let's say I want to use this page. What kind of values do we get here? Nothing. 
if we go into window let's see what we got here okay so we got some values we can change here in the power window menu but i will be trying this app a little bit more and maybe i will do a more in-depth um, tutorial about this element vs is there anyone out there using element let me know in the comment section maybe we can share the knowledge and learn this app together to make a use of our ipads you know our professional ipads that's all i have for now i will see you in the next one bye